Today on OC News, the USC valedictorian is denied the opportunity to speak at her graduation ceremony. LAFC has come to Titan Stadium, bringing a Cal State Fullerton alumni with them. And news on the Disney cast members and their recent vote to unionize. All that and more on OC News. This just in. Now in tech news, the first responder on the There's been a lot of collaborative efforts. I feel over blessed to be here in Fullerton. Brought to you by the Broadcast, Broadcast Journalism, Journalism students, students at Cal State, State Fullerton. OC News starts right now. Hello and welcome to another edition of OC News. I'm Cynthia Saavedra. And I'm Mason Awadala. OC News is brought to you by the Broadcast Journalism students at Cal State Fullerton. USC is facing criticism for canceling its valedictorian's graduation speech due to safety concerns. Asnata Basum, the USC 2024 valedictorian, is disappointed after the university denied her a chance to speak at the next month's graduation cer ceremony. Uh, the university leaders were concerned over Tabassum's Instagram page indicating evidence of being anti-Semitic. Tabassum has defended herself, saying she is not anti-Semitic, and stated, quote, the university has betrayed me and caved into a campaign of hatred, end quote. USC did not share any security concerns with her, nor was any alternative method offered. Grief is like the ocean and it comes in waves. I had the opportunity to cover an event that happened over the weekend in the heart of downtown Fullerton. It helps people deal with grief in an impactful way. I have more on the story. Gloves for Graves began in the spring of 2023 as co-founders Tara Pickett and Ashley Gusari met in a support group and felt they wanted to create a space for others to help them in their grief process. Here in the Soko district in downtown Fullerton, Gloves for Grief held their event where many people came out today to punch it out. This is an event for people who are grieving the loss of a loved one. Through boxing, yoga, and many other activities, people came as a community to share who they're grieving for and why it's important for them to be here. Gloves for Grief is a nonprofit organization that holds events throughout Orange County and is making an impact in people's lives by providing resources and support in the grief process. Oh. Let it out, let it release, be vulnerable. Inhale, reach forward and exhale one more time, sign it out, letting all the stale air out the mouth. I think it wasn't until I experienced my own grief and loss that I realized how it was not something that I even knew what to do with and I didn't know anyone that had experienced what I had gone through and I really just wanted to create awareness that people are not alone and that there's community and support out there to help you navigate like those uncharted waters of grief. Fun. Did you have fun today? Yes. Yeah. What was your favorite part of the event today? Boxing. To me, Gloves for Grief means strength. It represents the strength in all of us to just continue to keep going and, you know, in a sense, how it correlates to boxing, you get knocked down, you get back up. You know, when life knocks us down, we get back up and we put our hands up and, you know, we fight through it. And um, so it represents the, the strength in all of us. The next event that Gloves for Grief will be a part of will be the OC Marathon that will be happening in May. For more information on that, go to glovesforgrief.org. For OC News, I'm Cynthia Saavedra. CSUF has a large number of student organizations, one of which being the Muslim Student Association. This week is their annual Islam Week, and I got the chance to join them in their first two days. This week, the week of April 15th, MSA, or the Muslim Student Association here at Cal State Fullerton, is hosting Islam Week, a week to highlight their religion and the culture within. MSA is the Muslim Student Association, and we have been on campus for a while, but recently we restarted again with a lot of new leaders that brought a lot of new good, si good insight into MSA. What we do is have programming that's both religious and social for the Muslim and non-Muslim community to learn more about Islam and just Muslim culture in general, whether it be through food, through lecture, or just through general social events. 
MSA serves as a space on campus for Muslim students to feel welcome and for non-Muslims to join in and learn more about the religion. Islam Week is like a week of recognition for us in this community. We as Muslim, we feel sometimes we don't get as much recognition as other communities. So this week kind of serves as that justice for us. The favorite part about being on MSA is genuinely meeting the people. I found that a lot of people are either new Muslims or wanting to learn about Islam. And that's their most rewarding part is having people that are interested about your religion which is something you've grown up with, but learning to fall in love with it again yourself and seeing others fall in love with it for the first time. This spring, Islam Week consists of a paint and sip on April 15th, a speaker event on April 16th, a movie and henna night on April 17th, an advocacy 101 workshop on April 18th, and a Juma prayer and brunch on April 19th. MSA will be hosting Islam Week throughout the entirety of this week. For more updates, be sure to follow at MSA CSUF on Instagram. MSA is actively recruiting new members, so be sure to stay updated on what they can do for you. This is Mesa Mawadala with OC News. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco had been shut down the other day due to protest. Activists protesting the war in Gaza shut down the 101 on the Golden Gate Bridge this past Monday morning at around 7.30 a.m. A dozen of protesters stopped their vehicles, chained themselves to each other, causing a sea of cars going to a sit, sit still at a standstill for almost five hours. Another protest took place on the North I-880 in Oakland. According to the California Highway Patrol, a total of 38 people were arrested, facing a variety of charges, and four vehicles were impounded. Coming up after the break, we have a heartwarming story about a charity golf tournament. And a professional soccer team is coming to Cal State Fullerton. All that and more, stay tuned. Precise, no margin for error. Dare to forget that. Dare to have fun with it. Get weird with it. Dare to send those old STEM theories flying past the neighbor's house into outer space. Dare to program something internet breaking, record breaking. Dare to blow their minds. Dare to learn the difference between sedimentary and metamorphic rock. Go find those rocks. Dare to keep daring. Dare to STEM. Check out She Can STEM to get started. Hey world, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight, both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. When not in your hand trying to text somebody back because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> The Santa Ana Country Club in Costa Mesa was packed with golfers Monday afternoon for a beautiful cause. OC News reporter Braulio Cortez has more on this event. The Miracle for Kids Golf Invitational began with a bang as golfers gathered to raise money for critically ill children and families in need. Well, that's, there's so many things that inspire us, but primarily it's the children themselves when they when we see the, the efforts that we do and the, how their faces light up uh, and how the family gets so happy with and, gra and gra gracious for the things that we provide for them. Yeah. 
An event like this is so inspiring. Why? Golfers woke up this morning and participated in the Golf Invitational hosted by Miracle for Kids Foundation. All funds will go to critically ill children and families in need. The golfers are just getting ready here to my left, so let's take a look at how they're doing. Miracle for Kids is a nonprofit that helps families who have critically ill children with food, clothing, and shelter so the family can focus on the care their child needs. I'd say the most exciting part of this is the, are the golfers themselves and their enthusiasm to donate and help our cause of supporting these families who have children with life-threatening diseases. Now, if you're wondering just how many golfers came out to support this great cause, it was without a doubt a great event. We had about 140 golfers here today. Yeah, it's pretty great turnout, really great yeah. turnout. Cal State Fullerton is all about creating opportunities. For one former Titan, he is returning back to campus in a new role. Here's reporter Robbie Loya. This is Titan Stadium, the home for Cal State Fullerton men's and women's soccer, and also the home for LAFC too. Now with professional soccer coming to Fullerton, it allows local soccer fans to come out and watch soccer being played on a professional level. To have professional soccer right here back in Orange County and right here on campus of Cal State Fullerton at Titan Stadium is truly an experience of a lifetime. And for Ethan Luong, who just graduated from Cal State Fullerton a year ago, comes back to his stomping grounds as a camera operator for LAFC2. And he goes back to the days where he first got his start here on campus. I mean, I learned a lot of valuable lessons uh, from Titan Sports Network. Uh, just before that internship with Titan Sports Network, I did not know anything about production. Uh, I kind of went in just, just a fan of sports in general. And they, they really just threw me into the, to the madness of a whole live production. And I uh, just learned how to be accountable, learn how to be responsible of your own camera and learning how to just set up all the equipment. It was just, it was honestly an amazing experience. It's a good uh, refresher uh, to be back here because uh, it's where I, it's what started my whole journey. This is Robbie Loya, OC News. There is so much going on in the world of sports. And now here's the one, the only, Amy Ariano with our sports update. Good afternoon, I'm Amy Ariano here to give you some sports stories. Game two of a three game series against the Washington Nationals, the Dodgers finally broke out of their slump. Andy Bajes is the Dodgers number three prospect who got called up from AAA Oklahoma City yesterday to make his debut. He starts off debut strong with a single to right field. Kike Hernandez hits his first home run of the season, giving the Dodgers the lead 4-2. Mookie Betts had a big night winning with the leadoff single in the bottom of the first and going 5-for-5 five five this game. This is his third five-hit game of his career and first of many players this season so far. And the final was a Dodger dub 6-2. On the other side of sports, a Toronto Raptors player has been banned from the link for gambling. The Toronto's Raptors' John Tay Porter has been banned from the link after an investigation into his gambling. He would be on the NBA games while he was playing in the league. According to ESPN, the NBA launched an investigation into Porter in late March after Sportsbook noticed irregular betting on the over-under on the reserve center statistics in two Raptors games. In both games, Porter exited after playing only a few minutes. The league investigation revealed that he placed at least 13 bets on NBA games through an associate's online betting account. His bets totaled to $54,094. Let's talk more basketball. With the Paris Summer Olympics less than 100 days away, the official USA men's Olympic basketball team has just been finalized with big names like LeBron James and Steph Curry. Let's see who else made the team. Team USA announced the men's basketball roster for Paris Olympics. 12 of the NBA's biggest stars will be representing USA this summer. This 12-man roster includes LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid, Devin Booker, Tyrese Halliburton, Bam Adibio, Anthony Edwards, Drew Holiday, Kawhi Leonard. Team USA will be going for its fifth straight and 17th overall gold medal in men's basketball. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch them in Paris. That's all for me in the sports world. I'm Amy Ariano. Back to the desk.
Thanks, Amy. Coming up after the break, Disney on Entertainment employees are joining, are looking to join a union. And football star Travis Kelsey will be on your TV screen, although not on the football field. Stay tuned for more on OC News. You'll be the first, Mia. I got in. Dad, I got in! You should know this one. Who knows it? So how's it going in school? Finish those before you go. That seeks to develop mutually beneficial relationships with all of our audience. Hey, do you know what this word means? Empowerment? Authority or power given to someone to do something. E. E. M. M. P. O. W. E R M E N T T. Empowerment. Worried about your friend, but don't know how to reach out? You could say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could chat with them in VR. It's all good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. He makes fun of his friend who vapes. He would never try it. She's in the soccer. She's on the honor roll. She's just not the type. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping. Maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org. Do you like dancing and making new friends? Well, this club might just be for you. Let's learn more about this new and upcoming club with Amy Ariano. Sabor Latino Social Club is a new club on campus that just got formed this spring semester. They are a social dancing club focusing on salsa, bachata, cumbia, and merengue. This club is meant for anyone and everyone. Get to learn the basics and be comfortable with the movements and rhythms. Diego de la Cerda is a second year business administration major who grew up in Downey, California. As he started college, he knew he wanted to get back into dancing. I always grew up around salsa. It was really big in my family. My parents did it. Um, it's how they met. And so when I was little, I would just always hear it at parties. And then when I was younger, I was part of a team and I would perform. And then once I started high school, my priorities changed. I had less time. And then I started college and I wanted to get back into it again. I know I had like hopes, you know, I wanted it to grow. I'm really happy with how it went. We have a lot of people and, and the people who, who are a part of the club really, really like it. Um, and I think they get a lot out of it. I get a lot out of it. Uh, and it just makes a really good space for everybody to enjoy themselves and have fun. Sabor Latino Club practices in KHS 203s on Mondays at 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., maybe 7-ish. Let's see what salsa class they're teaching today. While this is a fairly new club, it's only going to get bigger and better. In the future, they are hoping to have a performance group to showcase all the skills they've been learning in the club so far. This social club is meant so that anyone doesn't feel like they can't dance at parties anymore since they know now an extent of everything. I think it's helped me to step out of my comfort zone a lot. I had never done any sort of Latin dancing at all and I was really intimidated to get started. 
but turns out that the community is really open and it doesn't matter like your background or what experience you have it's just super fun to dance slsc hosts a salsa workshop with 22 years of experienced dancers on monday april 22nd at 5 30 p.m i'm amy ariano oc news the cast members who dress up as Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto, and friends have filed for a vote to unionize at Disneyland in California. The union announced today that it has filed cards signed by nearly 17,000 entertainment employees. The, goals, the goal is to have the National Labor Law Relations Board conduct an election. Cast members that perform the same rules as them in other parks around the world are already unionized. The union they may join is called Actors Equity Association. A Disney spokesperson said for the company that they support employees exercising their rights to hold a vote. Kansas City Chiefs star tight end Ke Travis Kelsey is taking his talent off the field to host an all-new game show. Prime Video kicked the three-time Super Bowl champ to host their new show called Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? It's a spin-off to the show Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? The show will see an adult contestant join up with a celebrity to answer elementary level questions. Winners can win up to $100,000. Mason, do you think you're smarter than a celebrity? I am a celebrity. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, you sure are. You're the, you're the ASI president of Cal State Fullerton, so I have a question for you. Hey, hey, hey. I only have a month left. <laughs> I'm Okay, we'll make it count, so I'll spare you the question this time, but I'll make sure to get your autograph before the semester is over. <laughs> no. Well, that's all we have for you today on OC News. I'm Mason Awadala. And I'm Cynthia Saavedra. Stay tuned for our next show coming up shortly. We have a few shows left this semester that you do not want to miss. <laughs>